What is up, Karatics? Welcome to another Crew 2 video. This one will be customizing the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. I'm sure many of you know this car was exclusive to people who got platinum in the Live Summit, which means top 3,000. So here the car, here's the car right here. Absolutely amazing car. I mean, I'm just 110% impressed. Now uh, here's the uh, little clip of me claiming it there. So if you were top 3,000 on the leaderboard, you got the car for free. So yeah. So a few one of the things I want to mention here, if you didn't win it, I mean, I know I understand it was quite difficult to, you know, get up there if you don't have your cars maxed out and all that stuff. But um, they did put this car in the hypercar class, which I kind of assumed would happen, uh, which is really a shame. I really wish they would have put it in the streetcar class where it would have had you know, would have been on top of the regular Huracan over there, which is in the streetcar class. It would have been on top of it and been the new king of the uh, streetcar class. But then again, you don't want to keep that exclusive to only the people who got platinum as well. So I kind of see why Ubisoft did it in a way. But um, the car itself, I mean, they really need a supercar class in this game. They have street and then hyper. Like, there's nothing in between. This is one of those cars that should go in the supercar class, in my opinion. But anyways, in the hypercar class, and surprisingly, unlike the uh, Evil Red Fury edition from the last Live Summit, uh, well, the last one they actually won an exclusive car, and the Bugatti Chiron Carbon edition, those two did not have any customization, any visual customization. This one actually does, and I was super surprised when I saw it. I always like to look at certain things before I start the video, and I was very, very surprised. So in this video, we're going to be doing a second look at the visual customization the car offers. Then we're going to be taking it outside for a little um, run, out the way the engine sounds, and then a, a top speed run stock, and then a top a top speed run completely maxed out with double nitrous. I'm going to do, do double nitrous for this one so we can see how fast this car can get. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the manufacturer colors first. So obviously you have the green that it comes in. Then you have this like matte orange color, interesting. You have gloss white, it's like a matte gray, gloss black, and then a yellow. So I'm gonna be going with like a white and red color combination in this video. Do that there. Moving on to visual parts. So we have five hoods. So you have stock carbon, stock carbon with vents, white with vents, and then this like super trofeo style hood, which I think looks really cool. And this car is kind of like more of um, a track focused one, so I think it kind of goes with the theme of the car. So I'm gonna be putting that on this one. 20 grand for that hood, okay. Front bumper, you got four. So you have that portion there painted primary. Then all that carbon, that's nice, with the primary line over it. And then this one, you have a front splitter upgrade. Well, with, with everything carved, which I think looks pretty good, so let's do that. Front fender, and boom! <laughs> a wide body Lamborghini Huracan Performante. I think, I'm like, I'm like 99% certain this is the only game where you can have a wide body Performante. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. My gosh, hats off to Ubisoft. I can't believe they put this level of customization into a car that's exclusive. I mean, that just really blows my mind. And the third option here is the same one, but with the canards. Um, not really filling the canards too much there, so I'm going to do it without the canards. Front rims, okay. So you have the stock wheels, then you have the stock wheels in bronze, the manufacturer wheels. Then you have, this is one of the optional wheels on the real car. It's like, uh, has more spokes. I think it's gorgeous. Then the bronze one. And then obviously you have all the other uh, wheels that the game offers. If you guys want to see all the other wheels that the game offers, uh, I'll go through them one by one. I'll put that at the end of the video so you guys can kind of see which wheel you like best in the car. And let me know which one you guys like down below the most. But I'll put that at the end of the video. So I'm going to be putting the bronze ones on it. I think these are really nice, the multi-spoke bronze. Let's do those. Caliper color, go red. Red, got the uh, white and red color combo. Side mirrors. So stock it comes matte black. 
and then you can do white with carbon at the bottom, it's nice, and then white at the bottom with carbon on the top, and a little Italian flag. I think that looks pretty good, let's do that. Side skirts, you can do the, the majority of it body color, and then the inner part in carbon, that's pretty nice. And then you can guys you can see the colors there. Okay, so this, these are just different paints. So there really isn't a different side skirt, but the last one actually does. So the last one gives you like this really nice side skirt, which goes with our front splitter we chose. So we're gonna install that. Rear fender. You got the other white body there, and then the third option gives you these carbon uh, vents there, which I'm not really too much of a fan of. I think I feel like it kind of clashes with the car. I can see the design where it came from. It's kind of similar to like an Aventador, the Aventador vent in a way from the SV, but uh, instead of one single intake, these are more like heat extractors uh, pointed the other way. So it's a little bit of a different design, but I kind of I kind of understand what they were doing, but I think it's a little bit too much. I'm not really a fan of that on this car. I kind of like the clean look in that area. So I'm gonna do the normal white body there rear wing, so you have the stock forged carbon ala wing, and this one you can paint that white, and then it's forged, this short forged one, this large one here, and that one, so I think, I think, I think we'll keep, hmm. that's interesting, so stock there is, okay. All right, let's keep the stock forge one. I want to kind of match it with the bumper, so. You have this carbon with the white diffuser, and then... Okay, that's interesting. I think the white here just is a little bit too much white back here. And the white diffuser doesn't really look that good. Hmm. We kind of have to make it match, you know, with the carbon and all that, with the other parts, so I guess... I guess we'll have to do this one. Which at, at this angle it looks pretty good. It doesn't look that bad. Let's do that one. Uh, actually, let's go back to the wing. I'm not sure if I should do the wing in white or not. Because there's no other forged carbon on this whole entire car on the outside. So <laughs> you're going to have only the wing forged carbon and then everything else regular carbon fiber really doesn't match. And I don't like any of these other spoilers. I really wish they would have had a a normal carbon version of this one, but for some reason they don't. But I guess I'll just do the white one. Okay, interior color. So you have the stock, which is red accents. So it's kind of interesting, you can't do black stitching, but if you kind of want to get rid of that, you can go with like the white stitching here, for example. Now, they do have the red, and if you notice, the red that you actually pay for is darker than normal when it comes with. So that's kind of interesting. And usually you can tone it down or put more red, but in this car, you see there's only one style. Same thing with the interior materials, and same thing with the insert. You have all the forged carbon in here. From the, uh, you know, the perfect Monte, how it comes in real life, so... Yeah, you're not, it's not really worth paying for that. I'm just gonna see eight grand, and I don't even like the darker one anyways, so we'll leave the stock one, which actually gives you a, a nicer, bright red. So we're gonna keep that. And then if you do decide to keep the green, this is one of the first times I've seen it. I don't know if there's another car that has it, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. You can actually do the lime green accents in the interior. So you want to keep the lime green exterior and kind of make that um, go together with the exterior. You can do the lime green in these seats, which I think is really nice. But we're going right uh, white and red combo, so we're going to keep the stock there. And look at that. That looks pretty good. It looks like a modified Performante, which it is. Decent, all right. And performance here, you can see this is stock. So like always, the stats are always messed up, so I usually always just throw a break upgrade so you can see the correct stats. Top speed 200, power 640, 0 to 63 point, well, 3.03 seconds, which is pretty much about three seconds. Not bad, quarter mile in the tens, that's really good for a stock car. All right, put that back to stock there. All right, let's take it outside, see how it sounds, and how it drives as well. Okay. That white body looks insane. <laughs> it's 
sounds good. Get from the inside. Love that gauge cluster. Nice. It's so loud. It's a lot louder than the regular Huracan. Handling is so much better as well. The other Huracan understeers so much. This car just turns in so well. And another thing I forgot to mention too, I'm sure most of you know this already, but the regular Performante, the regular Huracan does not offer a wide body kit. Only the Performante does, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so again, 100% stock. We're going to use the nitrous at the very end to get us up to that top speed. Alright, here we go. see it back down there 214 then it just started backing down all right now we're gonna go ahead and max it out put double nitrous uh, perk on it let's see what this thing's gonna do it's gonna be insane all right you can see there perf level 320 out of 320 top speed up to 278 power over a thousand horsepower zero to 62.4 quarter mile exactly nine seconds this thing's gonna be a beast all right let's see how it does Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Did this thing just do 314 miles an hour with double nitrous? <laughs> oh my god. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Okay, now I know why they put it in the hypercar class because when you max it out, it turns into an animal. <laughs> Jeez. Now, obviously, it's not going to go 300 miles an hour without nitrous, but that is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. And with the upgrades, it handles even better. This thing is an absolute animal. I'm actually wondering if it's going to be able to compete with the Egoista now. I'm sure many of you play, play this game often. You'll know that the Egoista's currently the king of the leaderboards in most races. I wonder if this car will follow that same uh, suit. It's be interesting to see. I hope it doesn't beat the Egoista because I wouldn't be fair for other players who didn't get the car. But I hope it's somewhat competitive. You know, not not beating it, but right there behind it. That'd be pretty cool to see this car's name in the leaderboards. That'd be awesome. So yeah, only 3,000 people have this car. So yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting. All right. Well, that's the review of the Huracan Performante. I am very, very impressed. I wish I could tell you to buy it. Usually I give an opinion, but, I mean, you kind of have to win it. Um, I'm not sure if they're ever going to, uh, in the future, give you the option to buy it. I mean, based on them actually making parts for this car to customize it, I think it's possible that you might see it in the future for sale. Uh, I mean, I'm just guessing. Who knows? Maybe not. Um, Ubisoft hasn't really made any statements about that, uh, that I know of, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and as promised, here are all the Wii U options for the Performance.